Sarah and Andy show. Hosted right. by Scott. Okay. This was a whole lot of fun. We're going to sleep in this interview. Alright, so I'm going to just ask you guys some questions. And we'll start with Sarah. And then we'll do Andy. And the next question will be Andy and Sarah. Vice versa, and so on and so forth. All right, that's right. Okay. Sarah, describe Andy in ten words or less. <laughs> Shut up. If you know anything about him, that'd be hard for me to do. Um, Just drawing a blank. Pawn. Ten words or less. Mm. Same fine. Oh, I'm Unsafe. Unsafe. Prone to be hurt. Prone to injury. I agree with that one. Uh, Wait, wait, she didn't say that many. Prone to be hers? Ten words, yeah. Not able ten. to count. Is it ten <laughs> words or ten <laughs> adjectives? That's eleven. That's eleven. Well, both of us can, apparently. Okay. Andy, describe okay. Sarah. Uh, loud, 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 loud. No, yeah, loud. <laughs> You're probably talking about Andy, what is one thing you like about Sarah? Um, she's outgoing. Sarah, what is one thing you like about Andy? He makes good chicken. He makes good chicken. Yeah, dressing. Andy and Sarah, if the two of you opened a business together, what kind of business would it be, and what would it be called? <laughs> <laughs> a business, uh, I don't know, what would it be? It could be a restaurant, I could cook and she could talk to everyone, so. It's a win-win <laughs> right there, good money-making business right there. Uh, sure. What would it be called? We call it Narnia. Narnia. Come on, people could no. be like, oh, what's Why is Narnia your obsession today? with Narnia? <laughs> it's not real, Sarah. It's not real. I get it, but we can make it a restaurant and then it would be I, real. I don't think you understand. It's not real. I get that it's not real. I'm just thinking it'd be no good restaurant virus, name. No, no. We could have like a wooden line that kids can climb on and take pictures. It'd be a huge tourist attraction. Just saying. Narnia, mm -hmm. It's a restaurant, right? not an amusement park. Well, you can serve things like fawn, right, fawn filet and stuff. Fun filet. Fun filet. Fun filet. Or like centaur. Who would buy that? Centaur cupcakes. I don't know what are the uh, fun filet like at medium rare. <laughs> centaur cupcakes or like lamb. And why the little child like, is crying because it's like, fun filet. Or like lamb post lemonade. Like what are we eating Bambi right now? Like Bambi? Really? <laughs> you could like put lamp post in the lemonades instead of like the little. Like, and the lemonades, lamp post lemonades. Let's go. Electricity and fire on top of your lemonade. No, not a Good real idea. lamp post. Let's it drink it and get electrocuted. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about like fake little like instead of like umbrella things they put in like hmm, I understand what you're saying. It would not work. work. I think it would work. Everyone we're opening a place in Arnia. Okay. No. If Sarah was a dog, what type of dog would she be? <laughs> a chihuahua, you know, barking and yapping at everyone's knee uh, heels all the time. If Andy was a dog, what kind of dog would he be and why? What's the most slobbering gross dog? Bulldog is kinda of gross. Kind of pugs, extra pugs are gross. A slobbering pugs gross are disgusting. concussion pug. Kind of one who chases his tail and eats his own poop. That would be Andy. <laughs> wow. And why? Have you met him? Yeah, but why? Why, why would I do that though? You don't chase your own tail. Just kidding, guys. She's kidding. Now, the next couple are uh, fan submitted questions. And these are from uh, your fans. Some of them have been brave enough to sign their own names to these, <laughs> while others have wisely chosen to remain can, anonymous. Can you uh, okay. say their names? Um, I actually don't know where some of these came from. The first one is probably good, I don't know where this came from. Uh, where do babies come from? <laughs> Signed, the Pancake Man. <laughs> the Bradley Grisinko. The Pancake Man. <laughs> probably kissing It's really bad handwriting, so it might be yours. Uh, um, where do babies come from? Don't make fun of my man handwriting. Um, <laughs> we well, see, when a woman and a man really love each other, Song of Solomon happens, and then they go forth and multiply. So Babies come from God, they're a gift from God. Mine was so much better, Song of Solomon is a book of the Bible that talks about love, in case you weren't aware yeah, of that. Babies come from God. Okay, but there's also a process in between there. Or you happens. can adopt babies. Okay, you don't have to give it takes, birth to It one. takes a guy... And yeah, a but woman, you can adopt babies. And there's a biological, a human developmental process there, like a screw in a nut thing. And we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, screw in a nut thing. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> uh, question for each of you independently. Uh, okay. we'll, go, we'll do Andy first. Andy, why do you look like a 30 year old but act like a 5 year old? Because <laughs> I'm a child at heart. It's fun being a child instead of 
a man, some man child. Okay. Sarah, awesome. why is your favorite punishment push ups? Wait, I look like I'm 30? Yeah, okay. That's just wrong. Who said that? Who said that? Uh, RB. RB. Who's RB? Running back. Um, okay, why do I have a faith in push-ups? Uh, I don't know. She I can do a push-up herself. I that's, can do a girl's push-up. A girl's push-up, but you can't, you can't yeah, do a regular push-up. I don't know. Maybe, like, I watched oh, the, the movie. Epic fail when you did a regular push-up. I watched push the movie Major Pain, and I thought that was kind of cool. What is the origin of your last name? Dragula. Uh, She's that's a vampire. That's why Dragulowski, I think it is, but it got shortened when we came to America. And I'm from Poland, not Romania, in case you're asking. Wait, Polish you just, you're not American? Well, I'm from, I'm Polish. <laughs> I, I, I was born in America, but I have, like, my, my heritage is Polish, not Romanian. So you're not American? I am an American. <laughs> America's a melting pot. Okay. And I, and I don't have blood, I don't drink it, I don't even like beet juice. Or tomato soup. She's not a vampire. I don't Andy, what's her. the origin of your last name? Well, I am from the United States. I am an American citizen, first of all. Um, but the origin of my name is Plasted. Uh, I looked it up online once, and back over, I think it's somewhere in Europe, I think maybe France, or I don't even know. But anyway, so they were choosing names from, uh, for their country, for their, you know, because they were doing, they were getting overpopulated. Um, so they chose a, like, a, a building around them or something like that, so, uh, my name came from, like, a stadium, like an old stadium where they had battles. And, so no. basically you're named after like gladiators? Pretty much. It's awesome. Way better than yours. Could explain a few things about you. Placed it. Awesome. What is your view on dish fish? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much respect do you give to them? Mm. Signed, Cody Grisink. <laughs> Alright, you're up, you're up first. <laughs> well, they're a bunch of punks. Fluffy is fluffy. That's, that's Cody. And I just want to pinch his cheeks. Bradley is... You also call them very, very special. On the first day he worked True. here, True. He Ethan him could not do push ups to save his life. Bradley is a good <laughs> kid, but I hope he has 12 children within 12 years. And not, not Sergey nice. is, he's good. Um, he likes to throw water at me though. And Jake is just a punk. And I don't like to let him in my kitchen, but I need his help. My brother, he does help though. He, does, he gets stuff done. He soaked me with water. Two buckets. Yeah, but you deserved it first. No, I'm he sure you, it. you start everything Why and you blame it on the other his person. Side? He's my brother. I'm just saying. Andy. I'm pretty sure you started it. I, I was talking to him earlier it. about it, and you said, Where's the Bible? I swear I did not start it. You definitely, I, start, you definitely no started it. Okay, um, definitely. they're a bunch of punks, but I love them to death, and I'm really grateful for them, and they are challenging me to wait to have kids for a very, 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 very long time. I feel like birth control. Anyway, continue. Dish fish, love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys work hard. You drive what Sarah crazy, about? which is even better. I know you guys are young, so you guys fool around, which is cool. So, you know, get that out of your system. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you guys do a good job. Um, Cody, you're a little crazy, but you're awesome, dude. Awesome. On a scale of one to ten, how much respect do you give to them? Oh, respect? Uh, it's pretty high up there. I probably give them an eight out of ten. Uh, I mean. I mean, it's hard to gain my full respect. Uh, you're like at like a two right now. So, anyways, um, I don't know. They were hardworking. I first started doing dishes here, so I understand where they're coming from, and they kind of think they're at the bottom of the totem pole. But you guys are not. You guys are every more every important as everyone else on this campus. Sarah, so. I feel like you have a bromance with them. I do not have a bromance uh, with them. <laughs> I I give them a ten because they work with me, and that's challenging. So. Uh, from Michaela and Roberts of Tuscaloosa, Idaho, are you dating? No. <laughs> Let okay. me re wait, can I answer that? What are the chances that the sun would turn into a marshmallow and then blow up and turn into a dragon wait that would then eat sky? If it turned into a marshmallow, it would be burnt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there's more chances of that happening. And there's no such thing as dragons. Yes, so. there is in the Bible. Read Job. Anyway, either way, it's Talk not. Talk of the We're not, No. Which is a giant dinosaur, no, but please melting don't, fire please don't and insult flies me around that with way. wings. Woo. So the no. answer is no. No, it's not. No. At the end of the day, the answer is no. And it's no. a very insulting question. No, very insulting. Oh. <laughs> Michaela Roberts of Tuscaloosa, Idaho wanted to know. Oh, thank you, Michaela Roberts. Thank you for clarifying that. Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Well, that has been the end of our show. Uh, this has been the Sarah and Andy show. 
tune in cool. next week. Yep. And first, we this is the pilot episode. episode. First one. It's the pilot episode. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so many more episodes to follow. Okay. God bless you and good Bye. night.